Hey guys, uh, so today uh, what I'm going to do is show you how I transfer my seedlings, which I started in those rapid rooter plugs, and I'm going to put them into these little net cups um, along with some uh, hydroponic rocks, and then I will transfer them into the little grow tent that I have set up, and uh, I'll show you the uh, whole process from start to finish. Um, so first thing that I do is uh, I'm going to take one of these empty net cups, I'll pick um, one of these rapid rooters that have a seedling in them. Actually there's several seedlings in these. As you can see there's a little, there's a four of four plants in here so um, I could, I could try to split it up. Uh, let me see if it's possible. You can see the little roots are sticking out here from the bottom. So if you're gentle, you can try to split these up, but you got to be really careful because they're fragile. All right. So this is rainbow chard. That's why they uh, are red on the left side. The cool thing is uh, the roots are also colored too. So you'll you'll see that later on. All right. So um, I'm going to take this, put it in here. Um, I always let it rest on the bottom. I'm going to put some of these rocks in. And then I'm going to try to orient it so that it's centered. Again, you want to be careful because these seedlings are pretty fragile. And I may need to thin this later on uh, because uh, char does get pretty big. So when I do that, I will show you. And hopefully um, I didn't damage these while I was splitting it apart, but we'll see. So that's how I uh, transfer the rapid rooter plugs into a net cup. All right, so one of the last things that I do is spray all of the seedlings with water and make sure that they are uh, hydrated. You don't want them to dry out before they can really establish their, their roots. So I just give it a good spray with my spray bottle. I'll do that for all of these um, and then if you look underneath um, I haven't put any nutrient solutions nutri nutrient solution in yet and then I do have these uh, air stones to help the uh, water circulate and also the nutrients to circulate and also to aerate the water so all four of these tubs have that set up all right so what I'm gonna do now is uh, add the nutrients to the water that I have put into each of these uh, containers and um, you're going to take a little bit of each of these solutions and combine them into uh, the water and so these containers uh, contain about 3.5 gallons of water um, this black one I think is about 10 or so and I'm actually going to do a comparison. I usually use drinking water. I'm going to see how the plants do if I use uh, tap water. So the uh, tub on the left, uh, which you can't see, is going to be the tap water kale. And then this black, wa black tub right here is going to be uh, drinking water with Swiss chard kale, uh, red or green kale, and dinosaur kale. So um, I will let you guys know how it goes. 
All right, so just uh, following the recipe, the first thing I'm gonna use is BC Boost. I'm gonna put in, not the full amount, I'm gonna do um, just a little bit less than that. So if you look here, it's gonna be one tablespoon. Two tablespoons, three tablespoons. So I'm basically just tripling the recipe. And then now here's the grow solution. I'm going to do about one and a half. And then the next one is going to be Thrive Alive. And that's going to be one half tablespoon. So this is what it looks like. And the next one is going to be Magical, which is calcium. And this is what it looks like. I actually put it in a different container so that it's easier for me to measure. It's just an empty water bottle. And then the uh, last ingredient is going to be sugar daddy. And that is going to be two tablespoons. So this is what it looks like. And uh, I have my uh, air pump set on a timer as well as the grow light. So um, usually when I add in the nutrients, if it's not, if it doesn't have the air pump on, I'll put it on for a little bit so that the nutrients circulate. So you can see that there's bubbles coming out now. And I'll just leave it on for a few minutes and uh, that's basically how I feed my plants. Thanks for watching. So the other thing that I wanted to uh, point out is uh, when you're first starting, uh, you want to have the water level maybe about a quarter inch um, into the very bottom of this net cup. And that's to make sure that the uh, rapid rooter is getting water and nutrients so that the roots can grow downward from it. If the water is not hitting in this, the, there's a chance that if the roots don't pop out the bottom, it'll just dry out and die. So I always, just to be cautious, I put enough water so that there's just maybe a quarter inch or so um, above the uh, bottom of the net pot.